And starting. All right, so this is something new and different. Gonna Me. Going to play something I'm familiar with, but Ran isn't. And Ran's along for the ride to experience it. Yay! So let's start. With, let's start with the hardest part of every RPG. Character creation in Mass Effect. So that's gonna be the whole episode, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Please log in to access your profile. Considering I played you know that, hmm? you know, you know that is playing because it shows a male child like then. <laughs> Real funny, <laughs> but accurate. Warning: data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Let's see. You can start as a spacer. You're in the Alliance military. From basically from childhood. A colonist, which is exactly what it sounds like. Or you can start as a street rat. But uh, leave the North Cyberpunk, let's not go with the street rat. <laughs> I'm gonna go for spacer because that helps with Getting reputation. Gonna, do a, cool. gonna be doing a little meta gaming here because of the reputation system. Confirm psychological profile. Yep. Soul survivor, where, well, things did not go right. War hero, which is exactly what you think it is. And yeah. ruth and ruthless, where it's I did what I had to do. Mm -hmm. Oh come on, we're playing a we're playing a f science fantasy. Everyone wants to be the hero, right? Confirm I'm pretty sure I would have gotten, gotten with Soul Survivor, but it's your playthrough. That's true. Normally, I would pick this. Obviously. Or that, because shotguns. But actually, I do this. The reason being is the skill's decryption and the, the decryption skill lets me open up loot crates. That sounds useful. And I don't need to have a squad mate do it for me. So yes, very nice to have. So you're gonna use my playstyle for a change. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing smart. And since I've played through before, I can grab assault Confirm rifles. facial identification. And uh, I can't. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm gonna try to keep a track of the time so we yeah. don't go too long with the episodes. <laughs> Well, you know, this is the first one anyway, so... Or I could just use the default appearance, since I'm going to be wearing a helmet 90% of the time. That's boring. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, none of these are going to be nice. Well, actually, this is actually kind of close to my Mass Effect <coughs> 2 and 3 appearance, so... Where's eye color? Oh, it's already the right color. How about that? Hmm. Uh, mouth... Mm, maybe that's a scar. Yeah, it's a scar. No scars. We don't need scars here. Mm. And yeah, this game wasn't exactly the prettiest, but it's still good. Look forward, you idiot. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Profile hey, at least his face isn't tired. <laughs> Identification confirmed. Is it bad that pretty much all I know is the means? <laughs> eh, well, you'll know a bit more after after this. Dang, I can't pick insanity. <coughs> I'm not that good. I am not that good. <laughs> I am a scrub, and I admit it. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Nice looking ship. That's not a ship. Well, uh, what about Shepard? You'll see. Spacer lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. Dialogue's coming clear, he right? He proved himself during the blitz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Held off enemy forces on the ground until real. Me, this All right. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. 
in the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. Oh, I'm not fast enough. I hope you got it all, at least. And they called it Mass Effect or something. Yeah, they called it Mass Effect. Well, I tried. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, you know, as far as the boy is treating. Yeah. I tend to take my time and be dramatic. Calculating and transmission and destination. destination. Yeah, I can't do that with a um, scroll. The relay is hot. Acquiring yeah, a I mean... Some of those actually All try to... Secure for transit. Not be too fast, but this one you really did not have the patience. Nope. Beacon. Uh, Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. We're <laughs> <laughs> getting dragged. Right along with it. Relax, Trisky. You gotta give yourself a little. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his metals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't That's send a <laughs> I know, right? Treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nile. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. 
We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the That's only ship in its prototype mm -hmm. drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. In the war he mentioned, first contact, was when humanity opened the relay we just jumped through. Uh and figured, oh hey, let's open all of the ones we find. The Turians didn't like that. Yeah, the problem with, the, with that whole incident was uh, the Turians opened fire instead of trying diplomacy. And humans ah. responded how humans will. Fire with fire. Yep. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real act. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Can we talk about the guy's name Jenkins? You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. You're from Eden Prime, aren't yeah. you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any That's idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? <laughs> Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Kid. Mm. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah. And to be fair... Hey, better. Yep. To be fair, the Turians were kind of in their right to open fire. Last time someone opened relays willy-nilly, it basically let out a horde of alien locusts. Ah. <laughs> yeah, real fun, that. That's more Commander lore. Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Give us a chance to talk. What about? 
I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was hmm. Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance <laughs> has been pushing for this for a long time. <laughs> Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data camp. Of the Prodeus, so we still can mark. Yeah. <laughs> we can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Yeah, that's the... the yeah, that's the stealth ship. Just yeah. make the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden... Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, right on cue. Transmission from Eden Prime, yep. sir. You better, you better see this. Bring it up on screen. Like, I was about to say, Firebox says this is not gonna get stay stuck. <laughs> no, it ain't. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. They came out of nowhere. We need. That's the TV. 
You don't say. Everything cuts out after yeah, that. I no don't think that is an option anymore. That just goes <laughs> dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joe, but fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. So basically, mission hasn't changed. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Yeah, it's just going to be a bit louder than intended. Yeah. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. They are completely harmless. Damn. <laughs> no, they do explode pretty well, though. So I can. Okay, how do I holster? I forgot. I'm not even gonna bother holstering. Loot. Loot. Motorized joints. Whatever that does. Sounds useful. Uh, is it? No. It seem like you can really... There we go. No, that's weapon. I need... I gotta remember how to use this interface. Plus 10% smash damage, so it's only any good if I run into someone. Hmm. Oh, I can spend some talent points. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It nearly goes to charm. Oh yeah, I am absolutely dumping points into charm because that's kind of what I need. Mm. Okay, Nalenko. Could be useful. And don't die. Yeah, that's usually pretty useful. And more Daka. Daka, Daka. Daka, Daka, motherfucker. Uh, we really have a shared mind, don't we? Okay, I've got to figure out how to holster a weapon. <laughs> C, maybe? Or, oh, Q. Q? No, not that kind of Q. Q? <coughs> you okay over there? Yeah, yeah. They dead. They dead indeed. So I look at him. Yep. Oh, he didn't last. Yeah, so that one coming. I mean, with a name like Jenkins. Exactly. Area secure. Sorry to all Jenkins out there. <laughs>
We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Paragon! I need every bit of that. Ah, I forgot how to use cover in this game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Accidentally a grenade. <laughs> Victory grenade. Because <laughs> this is the only game where you don't reload, so... Uh, pressing R is still habitual for Mass Effect. Problem is, it's grenade in this game. Speaking of grenade, high explosives and shock absorbers for armor. Yeah, both of those sound useful. Now remember, cover is literally just run into object. And I guess shoot from cover is just aim well in Yeah, cover. pretty much. That's gonna happen a lot, probably. Yeah. Muscular memory and all that, huh? Yeah. Wow, oh, she's still alive. It's a romantic interest number one. <laughs> Shepard, you wanna I've lost shield. get down? How do I crouch? <laughs> crouch, crouch. You, you went past it. I did. Oh, there it is. Left control. I say I'm familiar with this game, but it's been a hot like two years since I played it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago <laughs> from the main colony to secure the air. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out. Unlikely, like but we can hope. Oh, random assault rifle. Always nice. Uh, Banshee for, ooh, better damage, more shots. Still shitty accuracy. <coughs> I'll take it. Better than the Lancer, at least. Yeah. Ammunition. Objects are nice. Armor. Better damage. Yeah, all around better. Also, it looks different. So I see. 
yeah. Looks kinda weird, in fact. Yeah, not gonna lie. I guess the pips after your health bar is like shit or something. Yeah, yeah. Shh, they don't see it. They won't see it coming. Finally acting like an infiltrator. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, kind of. See what's jank about this game is like if I try to use a shotgun. I can't really even aim down the sights with this. I can sort of aim with it. No, I can't even aim down the sights with it. Yeah, I mean, it is a shotgun after all. No, no, that's how weapon training in this game works. How what? Uh, weapon training. See how I got pistols, rifles, um... and assault rifles as a bonus? Those are the weapons I'm trained to use. Which means, yes, if you don't have sniper rifle, you can't even use the skill. Okay, then. Clear. It does feel a bit awkward that an inf infiltrator wouldn't just have snipers by default. But I mean, it does, I just can't put points into it to make them even better. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Unlikely. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Take all. Because I will, yeah. Well, even stuff I don't want, I can sell or I can turn it to Omni Gel, which is basically a uh, free pass to go past the uh, locks. That's useful. Very. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yeah. Oh god, they're still alive. I wouldn't really I say alive. Yeah, alive is a bit generous. The rifles are doing a lot of damage. Oh, okay. How about that? But I have shields to start with. Uh, and they also seem actually tougher than the other get. <laughs> Probably because they are for some weird reason. Yeah, I mean, I was rather confused there for a moment. What was that, Ben? Something like that, yeah. Uh, you have first aid. Why can you not use it? Hmm. Do I not? Ha oh, right. I have to. How do I medi gel? Okay, how do I medi gel? <laughs> Spend 20 minutes learning how to replay this game. Yeah. Okay, grenade is R. First aid is F. Okay. And I think that's probably a good enough time for the. to call the first episode. Alright. So, yeah, hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time. Later!